Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome into another video. This is going to be a little bit different of a video in terms of, obviously, um, what you're going to be showing, as well as what I am going to personally be bowling on in terms of this ball review. So we're going to be looking at the IQ Tour 78U. Obviously, before we do, just got to get through my whole um, thanking I am bowling, storm bowling, and uh, vice inserts for their continued support. If you like uh, the t-shirt that I'm wearing or any of the other jerseys you see me wearing in any of my videos, make sure you uh, head on over to IamBowling.com, get yourself a, a storm jersey, storm t-shirt, uh, whatever you want, and then head on into your local VIP pro shop and check out the newest and latest and greatest releases from storm uh, and make sure you get some vice inserts in your bowling ball as well. So, with that being said, we are going to be looking at the IQ Tour 78U. Uh, that is the newest, greatest release from Storm, obviously in terms of urethane as well. So we're certainly going to be looking at it uh, differently as well today too. We're only going to be throwing on one pattern, and it's going to be a fairly difficult pattern. Uh, since I'm practicing for team trials, we're, we're going to be bowling on the short pattern from team trials last year. We'll kill two birds with one stone. We'll look at that, but we'll also be comparing it up to you know, a different urethane ball as well as some reactive choices that you can make on this pattern. So let us dive into All right, that. So as I mentioned before, this review is going to look a little bit different in terms of what we're bowling on. So obviously urethane type bowling balls are probably not going to have the best look for most players on a league shop. So we're going to be looking at the 2023 uh, Team USA Team Trials Day 5 pattern. Since I'm going out to Team Trials in a couple weeks, I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. Get a look at the urethane type ball on a shorter type pattern while still practicing for Team Trials. So along with that, let's talk ball here for a minute before we go into how the ball actually looks. So this is the IQ Tour 78U. Uh, this cover stock is the Control 78 Solid Urethane Cover Stock. So basically the brand new urethane that conforms with the PBA's regulations. We have the C3 Centripetal uh, Control Core, uh, which is common in the IQ Tour Series balls. Comes out of box at 500 Aberlon. Has a flare potential of medium. Uh, differential is 029 RG of 249 in 15 pounds and now let's dive into watching this ball go down the lane here I thought it was very very important for me to tell you kind of what I'm doing with uh, hand position and what I'm seeing out of the ball uh, just to kind of tell you guys what's going through my head so these first six shots here are not going to look very good I'm going to tell you guys that flat out uh, they don't look good. Uh, first two shots were, were very nosy, obviously, leaving splits. That one I bumped to left in with my feet, and it didn't come up. Now, all of a sudden, we're going to go that, and then we are going to leave another split here. Um, you know, and, and those, all those shots looked good off my hand, but I had my hand in a very sort of spinny hand position. So after this shot here, or that shot there, obviously you can see I was very excited about striking, but I changed to a more flat up the back, more, um, you know, kind of end over end ball motion, and you can see it kind of sat there. That one, before this one, I actually certainly pulled, um, you know, and, and struck there. Um, there again, threw a good shot, hit my mark a little bit more. Uh, this one, thought it was a great shot off my hand, and then 4-9. Uh, four, four um, but again, once I got my hand sort of into a more uh, end over end ball rotation, I thought this ball looked a lot better, kind of on this fresh, uh, the fresh variation of, of this pattern. So this is my get out of jail free card. This is the Zen U. This is the ball that I'll pull out if I'm stuck on any sort of uh, sport shot. This is the ball that will come out of my bag and I will usually throw on pretty much anything. So this has got the S35 urethane solid cover stock on it. comes out of box at 1,000. It's got that low density Zen core. Uh, flare potential is medium to low. However, I get a fairly decent amount of flare on it. Uh, for 15 pounds then, it's got a 256 RG and an 027 differential. And now we'll throw it. So the first couple shots look pretty good. Um, after these first couple shots here, I did notice that the uh, cover stock kind of got a little, a little slimy. So you'll see here that it'll start going just a hair longer. There you can see we crumble a bucket. Uh, this one you can see goes a hair long too. And that's when I kind of realized, oh, I should probably maybe take care of the surface a little bit more. Uh, I got a different chamois that really kind of um, got a lot more of that oil off of the cover cover stock of the bowling ball um, but here 
now I make a move as well as kind of taking care of the surface a little bit more in this Zen U obviously looks like what I kind of expect it to. Uh, it looks really good. I have some room in. That one I, I certainly missed in. It, uh, it held. This one I get just a smidgen out, but it's got enough. There's enough of that core, enough of that ball that's going to get back. Um, this is, again, the benchmark for me uh, on sort of a short pattern, or certainly a benchmark urethane for me as well in this uh, 900 Global Zen U. So now we're going to look at some reactive balls on sort of a, a shorter oil pattern like this. This is going to be the gem. Now, obviously, this is a little bit, you know, it, it seems a little weird to use a big asymmetric piece on, on a really short pattern, but it kind of does the same thing, right? Urethane works by controlling the front part of the lane and also controlling the back part of the lane. Well, if you have a big asymmetric piece like this, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to start hooking early and it's going to be, you know, sort of a little bit more mellow. It's not going to be as mellow, I don't think, as urethane on the back part of the lane, but it certainly kind of accomplishes the same thing while doing, while obviously having very different components. So now let's look at the gem go down the lanes here. This is a 4x4x2 four by four by uh, layout gem. Um, I do have a, I kind of bounce back and forth between this gem and then a reality, but this gem looked really, really good, especially on this pattern. Um, reason being, you know, I, I certainly got further in. Now, obviously, because this is a reactive ball, you're certainly going to have to cover a little bit more boards in terms of, you know, obviously uh, hooking. Um, than what you would probably a, a normal urethane type bowling ball but uh, again you kind of accomplish the same thing I felt like I had some miss room as well I could get the ball in and it wouldn't overreact I could get the ball out though and it would kind of hook off that one board and it would look really really good as well um, so again honestly if I were to, to bowl on this pattern uh, I honestly probably would have stuck with the gem or the Zen U. Um, really the only time obviously that you're going to use this this IQ Tour 78 is going to be sort of when you're kind of constricted by the PBA regulations. But again, this gem looked really, really good and I was really, really impressed with the gem and the reality both on, the, on this pattern as well. And now we're going to bounce back to this IQ Tour uh, 78U. Um, so these first couple shots, I, I went back to what I was doing the first time I was throwing the IQ, right? I was I was really flat and up the back with the ball to get more of an end over end motion. Now all of a sudden, since there were more balls that went down the lane, it's hitting kind of flat, right? So now I kind of, that one I think was the last shot that I threw that was a little bit more up the back. Now I'm going to try and get around the side of it a little bit more, and it looks really good here again. So. Uh, this one, I, the IQ Tour, I think, is, is certainly a little bit more susceptible to, uh, or you really have to pay attention to your hand position and your, and your release down at the bottom of the ball. You kind of have to be nice to it when the uh, back ends are, are a little bit crisper. Once you get a little bit more um, motion or balls going down the lane, uh, you can start to get your hand around it and you can start to really make that ball work and, and do what you need it to do. Um, so again, no, your normal league bowlers probably aren't going to be able to a they aren't going to be able to do that with your hand nor do they really know how to do that with their hand so again I think this ball is obviously meant for uh, your higher certainly your higher average bowlers and, and certainly your bowlers that know how to alter their hand positions and obviously that kind of boils down to your PBA bowlers as well um, to make sure that your you know, to make sure that they can get the ball to do what they needed to do on the back part of the lane to get through the pins right.